Evening guys, Al here again. Bit of a different one today. Uh, Cher and myself are heading down, up, heading up to the um, National Ford RS Owners Show held in Mallory Park for the first time, I might add. So yeah, there's going to be loads of focuses there. I'm hoping to see a few Cosworths as well. Loads of cars going to be there. So a bit of a different video, but it'd be nice to see a few Fords. Let's get up there, see what it's about. So just pulled into the Airbnb, nice little gaff, won't show you too much. This is literally two seconds away from the track. So if you want any details, give me a shout. Nice little gaff. today.
have a look at the engine on this. Sunken wheels. Beautiful car. So when I said a good turnout, it is massive. So you've got uh, where we've just seen the RSs, all the classics behind. Don't need to say the top. Uh, yeah, at the back there, that's the clubs as well. So yeah, it's massive. Can't wait to have a mood around. So she has just got a bit excited. There it is. Rare as rocket or shit. RS500 wrapped in black. Beautiful. Let's have a look. So some lovely cars, now going to pop over to the Concours, lovely these. So there's a bit of noise on that track. A little Monte Carlo, Monte Carlo aubergine colour, but without the wheel tail. So the big turbo without the wheel tail. Beautiful that. Lovely.
So I got some beauties on show here. That's Yogi. Met him this morning. Lovely bloke. But my favourite so far has got to be the Cosworth just up here. So clean. And there it is. That is a beauty. So the small turbo version. Well, I'd say that's probably, yeah, my favorite car here to be truthful. Unbelievable condition. That is lovely. Yeah, I can safely say that one there. That's number one for me. So I got that wrong. That's the Monte Carlo. Look at that. It's an aubergine colour. See it just in the light. That is a beauty. He's just pulled up in the house, giving it a good clean. Oh, and have a look at this one. So I did say about the blue Cosworth before, being the, uh, the star of the show for me today. However, after looking over this one, this is, uh, I don't know, it's a toss up now. Comes with the standard Cosworth wheels. I don't know. It's a toss up between the two to be truthful. I'll, um, I don't know. I'm tossing up between the two. Another Cosworth here. What is it that? That is beautiful. Well done now. Very nice. So the show's in full force now. I had a good look round. Uh, there's still loads to see. It's massive. I didn't uh, didn't realise how big they were, to be truthful. So um, Cher's just gone to have a little briefing about the anniversary show on the um, on the track. I think that's happening at 12 o'clock. So yeah, just, just so much to look at. The uh, Escort Cosworths are doing me. They are beautiful. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of people here, a lot of cars to see. I'm loving it. Just to show you, obviously they're celebrating the Mark II RS and they've come in numbers. Really? 
so many of them. All looking sweet. Those chairs there. Animize. Lovely colour that. Beauty. Just to the side of the uh, the racetrack now, watching a few of the laps. These boys are pretty rapid. Um, just waiting as well for the Mark II Focus RS anniversary laps. Uh, should be happening in sort of the next half an hour once these boys come off. But yeah, I can't wait. They're going to do it in colour order. So I believe it's going to be green, blue, and white. Um, not sure if the 500 is going to be out, but yeah, I can't wait to see it quality effort from all the organizers uh, to get this many cars on the track at one time so you've got the series one turbos at the front then onto the focus mark ii rs there'll be the green blue and then the white i believe there's a sierra rs x6 in there as well so yeah well done to the organizers massive amount of cars let's hope it goes all right and let's enjoy the show quick ending as you saw from the time lapse the whites didn't pull in they're all kicked out of the show um yeah i'll explain in the outro there we go guys quality show bit of a uh, bit of a sour taste at the end however i'll talk about that in a second 
as for the cars, yeah, my first show, unbelievable. Some of them cars, factory finish, uh, like they've just come off the forecourt, unbelievable. Um, it, it's their life, basically. Fair play to you guys. Uh, with it, like I said, the main two for me were uh, the Cosworths. And it was nice to see Andy's out there as well. I didn't realise it was him at the time. So apologies, Andy. But yeah, the engine on his Cosworth is... Uh, they've just spent some money on those cars and they look beautiful. As for the setup, amazing from the organisers. It was done, yeah, perfectly. Toilets were in the centre, everything around it, all the cars, all spaced out. Yeah, all done really well. However, like I said, at the, well, I say the end of the show, we got kicked out at about two o'clock. Uh, so what happened was, obviously, it took a while to get onto the grid. Uh, a lot of cars. Now, Cher was leading the whites and the lead car was going pretty slow. Standard, obviously, because there were so many cars. And there was a bit of a gap forming, so the cars were sort of swaying and trying to catch up. So, me personally, I think Cher did the right thing. She held back, uh, kept all the whites in formation, as you can see from the video. And then, obviously, once the blues had settled together, the whites on the back straight, they put their foot down a little bit just to get back to it. Uh, understandable, you're on a racetrack. And, yeah, they got kicked out for it. Now, the annoying thing is, we met a couple outside, because it was, it was literally, stop, get out. Um, yeah, I phoned Cher and I was like, where are you? We have to leave now. So when I met her outside the gates uh, and we met, I didn't get the names. I'm really sorry. Louise, maybe? I do remember though. Um, lovely guys, lovely guys. And the registration plate said bad. So I think he was next to Cher. You'll, you'll see his registration on here. Lovely guys. Apologies for not getting your names. Uh, we had a word with them and they were camping. Now it was that quick. They weren't even allowed to get the camping stuff. Fortunately, they had friends in there that could sort it out. But yeah, just a bit of a sour taste. Um, if they want to call that, then yeah, the organiser can call that. But I don't know. I didn't really agree because it wasn't it wasn't too full on. However, put that aside. Brilliant show. Well done to the organisers. Can't wait to go to the next one. As always, guys, thank you for watching the video. Subscribe if you haven't already to keep on the journey. Give us a like on the video and I'll see you soon.